DP member uh, Michael Hannon, Officer Michael Hannon of the White Plains Police Department, who was assaulted by the Assistant Chief Ann Fitzsimmons. And upon that assault, he he occurred injuries to his back, and he and he, and he hasn't been uh, to full duty to work since. Now the problem is, is that there have been no departmental charges brought against the Assistant Chief and for Simmons, and no criminal charges from the Westchester County District Attorney's Office. We would think if you will have an incident that is witnessed by a lieutenant and another officer, that charges will be brought. The average person in the street, if a police lieutenant and a police officer saw them assault somebody, that will be enough evidence for the DA's office to bring charges against that person. This is an injustice, and this is an outrage. A few weeks ago, we went down to the U U.S. Attorney Brett Barrera's office, and requested an investigation of the DA's office, because she has shown bias in how she had, has investigated uh, police criminality in Westchester County, especially when it comes to people who are black or brown. This report here from the DA's office shows that she failed to do her due diligence in investigating the assault of Michael Hannon. So what we're saying is this. We are asking, and Michael Hannon put in a complaint with the Department of Justice, not, on, not only just for White Plains Police Department, for failing to bring, bring Chief Ann Fitzsimmons up on any departmental charges, but also the, the D district attorney's office for not investigating properly. There is a bias. We know that Chief Ann Fitzsimmons' husband formerly was an investigator of the district attorney's office. They failed to properly question the lieutenant that witnessed or the officer and a civilian that was there who saw the assault. So why hasn't there been any charges? Why hasn't she did her due diligence? And why haven't the White Plains Police Department or the city of White Plains brought Ann Fitzsimmons on of any departmental charges? Or she's still an employee of the city. There is code of conduct of being a city employee, especially when you assault somebody in the workplace. The next up to speak for the family and for Mike Handen is El El Elder Erwin Gilliam. I speak on behalf of the Hannon family. Uh, we feel that it's been a lack of respect about this case and situation. The situation has affected the family's finances, health, life. And we pray and believe that God will make a way for the family to get justice in court. And we hope that God touched the hearts and minds of the people that in authority to make the right, just, righteous decision. That'll be all. And once again, we're standing here today representing Officer Michael Hanlon, who was assaulted in the back with a chair by Assistant C White Plains Police Department Assistant Chief Ann, Ann Fitzsimmons. We have Michael Hannon here. How long should the family suffer? And, and as we continue to say, why do we have to go for justice to a federal agency when right here we, we're supposed to have the DA's office is supposed to be pushing justice for everybody? That's right. But, but she has a history of not investigating police incidents, not investigating police criminality in Westchester County. And, and once again, she showed it. She said in her statement to News 12 when we protested down in Foley Square that every case that she did was investigated thoroughly. This report shows she's not telling the truth. So we need to hold her accountable. And there's going to be many cases after this that's going to come out to show that her integrity unit has no integrity when it comes to police criminality to people of color. So thank you for coming out, and thank you for attending. Ooh. Ooh, I'll, I'll answer any questions.